गुड मर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट लेसन नंबर एट दैट इज योर आइटरेटिव स्टेटमेंट्स इन पाइथन सो समटाइम्स इन ए प्रोग्राम वी नीड टू रिपीट सर्टेन काइंड ऑफ स्टेटमेंट्स टू रन द प्रोग्राम सो देन वी यूज दिस आइटरेटिव स्टेटमेंट्स ओके व्हिच रिपीट्स इट सेल्फ टिल द टाइम द कंडीशन रिमेन्स ट्रू सो दो स्टेटमेंट्स इफ वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड इन ए सिंपल मैनर वी हैव टू जस्ट टेल दैट सर्टेन मीन्स कंडीशंस विल बी गिवन एंड दोज कंडीशंस विल बी चेक्ड एवरी टाइम द स्टेटमेंट इज एक्जीक्यूटेड देन एगेन सो इफ द कंडीशन इज ट्रू देन द स्टेटमेंट विल बी एक्जीक्यूटेड फॉर द सेकेंड टाइम so like that it can repeat up to 10 12 13 14 100 times also till the time the condition given condition remains true okay so those statements are known as iterative statements so you go to page number 113 so it's given in python there are two types of iterative statements one is for one is while okay so if you see here In a yellow color box, it's given the syntax of for loop. So, if you see here, for a variable will be given in range, then the initial value, final value, and a step value. So, one initial value like x equal to ten, final value x equal to twenty. That means the range uh, is from ten to twenty, and the step value. Okay, step value. It will tell you how. In every step, it is going to be incremented. Whatever, suppose I am writing three. So suppose first value is ten, next value will be thirteen, then it will be sixteen. So it will be incre incremented by three. So by default, if you don't give anything, it will be incremented by one. Like it will be ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Like that, yeah, like that, it will go. Okay. So for to understand this one, uh, you can go to a page number just. Uh, to show how it is going to work, okay. So if you see here, uh, you go to figure number eight point eight in page number one one seven, okay. So here you will see for i in range ten twenty three, okay. Print i. So that means the starting value is ten, ending value is twenty, and the In the way it is going to increment, it is three. That means the maximum value is twenty. It will be it, it will be in between. Okay, so it will go like this. If you see how it is uh, printed, it is like ten, then thirteen, sixteen, then nineteen. Okay, it will not go to twenty-two because it is beyond twenty. Okay, so to I think you have understood how this uh, statement is going to work. Four statement for i in range ten twenty. Three. This three is the increment value, and ten is the beginning value or starting value, and twenty is the maximum value it can go up to. Okay. Then because it is incremented by three, first it has written ten, then thirteen, sixteen, and nineteen. It will not go beyond that because after if it goes to twenty-two, it will uh, that con that condition will be false. So that is why it's going up to nineteen. Okay, maximum value is twenty. So that is why it is not going beyond twenty. Okay. Now uh, you go to page number one one four. Okay, here also you can see uh, just figure eight point one. So it is going to check uh, print ten in one two three ten. So it is going to check whether that. Ten value ten is there in the range, okay, or in the given number. Yes, ten is within the range of uh, means within the number of one, two, three, and ten. Those numbers are given, and ten is present. So that is why it will return true. Now next one you see figure number eight point two, okay, figure number eight point two. So first one it is given a integer. It is going to it is taking one number input entire number. Now you see the output. When the number is entered as twenty, it will return true. 
because 20 is there in the range but when um, enter a number it will go to it will enter 67 then it will return false as the number is not in the range or it is it, it number is not in the particular sequence okay so again i am saying see figure number 8.1 here they are checking whether 10 is there in the sequence yes 10 is there in the sequence that is why it is going to return true see the output okay next in the example 8.2 uh, it is taking a number okay so now if when the number is entered as 20 it will return true and when the number is entered as 67 it will return false see in the output okay now next one you see uh, program number 3 figure 8.3 okay for i in 10 20 30 40 okay print i so it will print all the numbers one by one 10 20 30 40 is printing like that okay so now this one i think uh, i have already told you uh, this range initial value final value and step value like in program number 4 you see print i in range 10 20 okay so i equal to 10 it is given so it will return true okay next one program i equal to 10 print i in range 100 and 200 so in between 100 to 100 10 is not present there okay that is why it will return false okay in your figure number 8.4 uh, i is equal to 10 and i is in the range 10 to 20 that means 10 11 12 13 till like uh, till 20 10 to 20 it's it's in the range it's that 10 is present okay if i equal to 11 then also it will return true because 11 falls under 10 uh, in between the range of 10 to 20 okay so if i equal to uh, 12 13 14 anything they can give so it will become true till the time it is suppose it is given i equal to 19 then also it will become true but if i equal to 21 then it will return false okay like in the example of figure number uh, uh, example uh, or program 5 it is given i equal to 10 but the range is given 100 to 200 that means if it, it has to be true the i should be in between 101 102 103 or 100 or maybe 105 then it will it can become true but here it is given i equal to 10 so because of that it is not present in between the range and uh, that is why it is false okay next one is your uh, means your uh, in your program number six you can see we can use range function in for loop uh, to iterate through a sequence of numbers okay so next one uh, if you see for i equal to 10 comma 20 print i so 10 and 20 is printing like in your previous example okay they are not using this range okay now next one if you see uh, for i in range 10 comma 20 print i into i that means 10 into 10 okay 11 into 11 12 into 12 like it is going to print so now if you see the output for i in range 10 comma 20 that means from 10 to 20 it will take all the numbers uh, see from 10 to 19 okay 10 to 19 19 is going to take all the numbers and it is going to double it like like that you can find the square okay 10 into 10 100 11 into 11 121 12 into 12 144 so like that it is giving the output okay now i'm going to show you how this figure number 8.9 uh, how we can find the fractional fractional of a number okay so here if you see it is given enter a number a equal to integer bracket input enter a number so that a can be anything okay whatever number is entered by a can be 7 a can be 8 it can be anything anything okay so here uh, if you see in the output enter a number uh, in the output they have inserted 5 so here a equal to a is become 5 it is given f equal to 1 
and the range if you see the range is given range is given one the starting value and a plus one that means five plus one six so it will go from one to five so one two three four five this those values will be uh, means it is in the range in between from one to six okay so it, so now you'll see next it is given uh, f equal to f into i okay so for, for the starting time it is given as f is given as one 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 into one so f will remain as one okay one into one is equal to f equal to one next it will become i will become two okay this is done this you have got next i will become two so because i told you that if you don't give any kind of uh, step value here it will by default it is the step value is one if you give any step value it will uh, it will increment like that but if you don't give anything the step value is remain one okay by default it is one so next one next time that i is going to become two first time i is one next this is your if you see these are the values of i first it was one next i will become two now f f was one right one into two one into two equal to f will become two understood now f will become two i is become two one into two equal to two so now value of f is two and value of i is at the moment it is at the moment i is equal to two okay i is equal to two next again i will become three so i plus uh, because i have told you that if step value is one so it again it will become three okay so now this f f two into three okay because current value of f is two then it is given f into i so i value is three so two into three it will become six okay so it has become six next i's value will become i's value be uh, will become four okay so then it will check the condition it is, it is in between the range so it will become four okay so next one f will become six six into because it's already six six into four equal to twenty four so it will become twenty four again okay so it has become three it has become four so at last again it will be incremented it will become five okay so now f will become twenty four into five is equal to one twenty so again it will check i will become six but maximum value is given as six years so it will not it will not uh, go beyond this okay it will come out of the loop and the final value of f will remain as 120 okay now if you see here print the fractional of number is comma f so f will be printed that means 120 will be printed okay now i am going to tell you about while loop while this while loop is one of the uh, easiest structure you have uh, in this looping category okay so the while loop is the simplest of all looping structures okay so here first if you see the syntax in page number 119 this syntax it is given first one is given initialization then condition looping body and ablation now what is initialization suppose first it will be given i equal to 1 that is called initialization 
वन दिस इज भेरिएबल आई हेव गिवेन वन यू कैन से भेल्यू टू ए पार्टिकुलार पार्टिकुलार मीन्स भेरिएबल दैट इज आई इक्वल टू वन द भेल्यू अफ आई इज वन इट इज कल इनिशियलाइजेशन ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट वन इट उल लाइक नेक्स्ट वन इज गिवेन कंडिशन कंडिशन इज वाइल वाइल आई इज लेस और इक्वेल टू टेन सपोज इट उड मेक्सिमाम भेल्यू इज टेन और इट उल गो आप टू टेन ओके देन बडी ह्वाट डू वांट टू डू सपोज यू वांट टू यू वांट टू डू ए पार्टिकुलर थिंग सपोज यू वांट टू प्रिंट आई ओके सो प्रिंट सपोज यू वांट टू प्रिंट आई ओके इफ यू वांट टू प्रिंट आई सो दिस इज द लुपिंग बडी दैट मीन्स दिस इज दिस शुड बी प्रिंटेड टिल व्वेन uh when uh i will be less or equal to 10 it will not go beyond 10 and now how this i will be incremented i will become i equal to i plus 1 okay or you can write it like this i plus equal to 1 okay that will also uh has a similar kind of meaning okay so i'll show you how to write uh, that i Suppose, suppose, suppose you are writing like this: i plus i plus equal to one. Both has the similar kind of meaning. That means i equal to i plus one. I will be incremented by one. Suppose first one i is value is one. Next will become two, three, and at the same time this will be printed. First i is equal to one. It will check i is it is one is less than ten or then it will print 1 next one again it will become i will become 2 then again it will print 2 so like this will become up to uh, till 10 it is going to print okay from 1 to 10 it is going to print okay so this is the while loop so while loop is uh, simple uh, then is uh, for loop okay so i think you have understood here also if you see One program is given. I equal to ten. While i is less than twenty, print i into i. That means it will become ten into ten, hundred, eleven to eleven. So like this, it is going to print. See till nineteen. So it is given. I is le uh, less while i is less than twenty. If I give i is less or equal to twenty, it can print up to four hundred. Okay. So here it is given i is less than twenty. So print i into y. That means first one is ten into ten. Next eleven into eleven. So equal to it, its meaning of this one is i plus equal to one. Its meaning is i equal to i plus one. Same meaning. This meaning of this is same de, as i equal to i plus one. Okay. That means i is going to increment uh, increment by one every time. So then it is going to print like this. Okay. Understood. The next one, if you see, so print the multiple of three and their sum in the range of ten to thirty. Here you see, while i i is less or equal to thirty in your uh, figure number eight point one three, i is less or equal to thirty. If i uh, means uh, this this meaning of this is what? So I'll tell you, i three is equal to Is equal to zero. <coughs> this meaning of this is it's equal means your it's uh, making a comparison. This is a comparison operator. Okay, it is going to compare. It is if the value is equal to zero or not. If you are this i equal to zero, that is you are just assigning this uh, uh, the value zero to i. But if you are giving this one, that means you are just comparing. It is uh, just comparing if this value this value is equal to this or not. Okay, that one you are comparing it. Okay, so while uh, or so sorry or if i m percent three uh, percent uh, three is equal to zero, that means what? If the remainder of this one it becomes zero because what is what uh, they have told? Print the multiples of three and their sum. Okay, print the multiple of three and their sum. Okay, so. Multiple of three. That means what? It should be. Uh, that means suppose it is three into yeah, and in 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 between the range of ten uh, to thirty, ten to 
30 okay now first multiple first multiple will find 12 so if i divide 12 by 3 so then the remainder will be 0 or not i will get 4 so here if, if i if i 3 12 3 fours are 12 remainder is 0 so that is what is checking this one this one is checking okay that means if 12 is divided by 3 the remainder is 0 or not this remainder is 0 that means it is divisible by 3 it is divisible by 3 so that is what it is checking so first it is going to print 12 so it is because then it will become uh, print 15 so it will become next it will be uh, print 18 21 so like this it will print up to suppose it will print up to 30 so then it, will, it is going to add all this okay so the, how it will be done while i is greater equal to 30 if i percent 3 that means your remainder is checking it is remainder is 0 or not if the remainder is 0 then the i will be printed that means your when the remainder is in case of if it is 10 10 divided by 3 remainder will be 1 okay it will not be printed 11 divided by 3 remainder will be 2 no it will not be printed 12 uh, divided by 3 remainder is 0 then 12 will be printed again 13 in case of 30 remainder will be 1 it will not be printed so like this it is going to print the things okay and here s equal s uh, s plus i that means s equal to s plus i s s plus equal to i that meaning of this is s equal to s plus equal to i meaning is s equal to s plus i okay first s is equal to 0 then s will become first one is 0 then s will become 12 then s equal to 12 plus 15 whatever it is uh, 27 so like this it is going to add so at last this sum is sum will be displayed here you see the sum of all the multiple of 3 is range this is last at last they printed s okay now one more thing is discussed here that is your infinite loop so if you see in the example figure 8.16 that is your i equal to 10 while i is greater or equal to 1 print i i equal to i plus 1 so if you see i, I is 10 so it will go it is it will become infinite loop 10 is always uh, greater than 1 so 11 also 12 13 14 all are greater than 1 so it will become a infinite loop so it is going to print every means from starting from 10 to 1000 to 2000 it, will, it is going to print so this output is given here you can see okay so it's a infinite loop next one that is your loop else if you see in page number 123 so in case of while or for loop so when those conditions are uh, it will not at last that condition will not become true so see one particular range is given suppose i is less or equal to 10 till the time i is, is uh, equal to 10 the loop will run so once it becomes 11 it will come out of the loop then it will print the else uh, whatever is given in the else statement it will be printed so here if you see in figure number 8.17 so print loop terminated successfully okay so now if you go to page number 8 point uh, figure number 8.18 so there also till the time the condition which is given in the while loop it is true it will run so once that is ended so it will come to uh, come to a the else portion then it will uh, it will give you the message loop is terminated successfully so now i have told you about this chapter so in case of any confusion you can whatsapp me okay thank you